Well, hi there, this is Chase Swift, and hopefully you've just searched for how to become a wildlife photographer for National Geographic. So, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but boy, that is a high bar. It's probably uh, equivalent to becoming, let's say you want to become the president of the United States. Really high bar, okay? Not many people, and it's just extraordinarily competitive. So, what I'm doing right now is showing you some of my images which are represented on the image, uh, I'm sorry, on the Corbis Images website. And I'll even put a link into uh, the description of this video. So I've been, and I, I do photograph um, wildlife, okay? Uh, and I love it. But you're also going to have a mix uh, of images because it's just a challenge to exist totally on wildlife and be exclusively wildlife. It's just, I, I know many, many photographers, and so few of them actually just shoot wildlife and, and make their living. So you've got to be versatile. You can still t take beautiful stuff, uh, wildlife, nature, scenics, all this stuff, but you're also going to have to know in, in, the, in the meantime how to make images that sell in in order so you can go out and take wonderful wildlife images okay so like the lion here beautiful stunning but you know what the speed limit sign and other silly things like this and a post office sign or a box or whatever these are the things that people need uh to put in magazines and brochures and advertisements and stuff like that so while i enjoy wildlife and nature and this is uh in uh, uh japan and uh you know the the deers in rocky mountain national park i love going to that but i'm telling you you make about 10 times the amount of money now this is almost like wildlife photography it's just integrating uh people into it okay you have to use a lot of the same principles and ideas okay of uh, getting a good photograph that sells and and has a very positive uh, statement or concept about it. Okay, so uh, let me go over. I'm going to show you a photographer that is a National Geographic photographer. His name is uh, Chuck or Charles Arrear, and I'm just doing a search. And he, you'll see some. He is an amazing photographer, and I know him personally. Uh, he was the official photographer that, for the Dedalus project, and they, you know, Chuck was. This was a National Geographic assignment, and so he was, I mean, this, this is an exquisite photograph. I mean, it's, it's awesome. And as you can see, I mean, the images he has are just beautiful. And sometimes they're landscapes, but he also does really high-tech, um, you know, computers, and, and he'll even get into really uh, small and micro uh, macro type photography um, just kind of scrolling through here well and you know who's going to have the chance to photograph gold bars like this very very marketable image by the way okay now here's one of these this is a pacemaker I mean the guy is very gifted and who all knows you know how all this is done but um, it's a challenge just to photograph and here's Chuck doing a great job in uh, all sorts of different photography for National Geographic. Many of these images came from assignments while he was on uh, shooting for National Geographic. And he shot numerous uh, articles for Geographic. He's one of their very accomplished, very excellent photographers. And I'm just pointing out to you that, you know, you just, you got to have a lot of versatility, okay? I don't even know what that, those are computer chips, by the way. Isn't that cool? So, and here's some really cool, um, you know, I don't even know how to describe it. That's just awesome, okay? So his ability in photography is extraordinary, and he's really gifted with people and all sorts of things. Um, and so I want to encourage you to be a freelance photographer, and I also want to encourage you to make a second have a secondary income because chuck and i started many years ago chuck started way before i did and he didn't have the advantage of the internet while he was starting so and in a number of my videos you see me suggest to start a secondary income online so you can uh, make money while you are 
you know, establishing your name and establishing your library of images. By the way, you'll notice, look at the reflector and the soft light. These are just grapes in, in Napa Valley. But Chuck goes to great lengths. This is not just a picture of grapes. It's You can tell by the lighting, it's extraordinarily. He's brought in some really nice soft light reflected in there somehow and uh, made a very nice image. So there's a lot to it. You just, you know, you've got to be really, really, I mean, it's, Today, it's it's really competitive. I mean, like trying to be the president of the United States, it's that competitive. There are not going to be many people that are going to become a wildlife photographer for National Geographic. So shoot what you love, and here's a, here's a wildlife image, okay? So he has done things like that, and you can too. But you'll have to expand your horizons a little bit more. I mean, look at that. Isn't that fascinating? Uh, because there are so many things, well, you just, there are so many ways that photography is needed in this world, and you can provide that, and I encourage you to, but I also encourage you to think outside the box and uh, learn how to make a secondary income. Now, I have a link in the description of this video, or there might be a button where you can learn more about it, and I'm telling you, this is not going to distract or detract away from your photography. It's going to be an additional awesome income revenue that's on autopilot. I'm serious. Absolutely. The customers come in on autopilot. So guess what? You can be out photographing while you are making an income online. Okay. And hey, it's free information. <laughs> so you don't, you know, you may think that I'm trying to hype it up. I'm not. I'm trying to give you the best information. And, you know, here's a photographer, Chuck O'Rear, who's exquisite. I mean, he is just awesome. And when are you going to get access into a clean room like this? You know, these are hard. So once you get really, really, really good, then you get access through an assignment like Geographic or other magazines or, you know, whatever contacts you have. But Boy, it is a challenge, and you know when you got photographers like Chuck Arrear, I mean this is an awesome image for the high tech industry, and you know it's used for advertising and you know all sorts of things, high end income, okay, income producing. Now you're not going to be able to do that, and here's an aerial, okay, probably covering uh, a state of the United States or whatever, showing the agriculture and. You know, you, you probably shot from a helicopter or a plane. So you've got to get out there and do more than just the average. And this is one of his classic with lasers. He did an article for ne Ge Geographic on lasers, okay? So Chuck is an awesome friend of mine, uh, extraordinary photographer, based in California, by the way. And uh, he and I are doing the same thing. We shoot images for Corbis and the images are then sold or bought, like, you know, people buy these uh, for all sorts of uses. But it takes time. You're not just going to whip out, you know, 10 images and make, you know, $10,000. Okay, it takes some time. Look at this. That is a computer chip on, yes, the, the end of a paper clip. Okay, so very extraordinary lighting, very good control. This is not very easy, although you may think, and you can probably pull something off, but where are you going to get the chip? You know, you got to, he had access to a lot of stuff. So there will be information in the description of this video on how to earn a secondary income on autopilot while you're out there shooting beautiful images and, and building up your library. And uh, I mean, look at this. This is, this is beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. So uh, I hope this is encouraging to you. I want to encourage you. If you have any questions or need additional tips, uh, if I haven't answered your questions or you have more, please uh, go to the description of this video or in the comments area. Type in a question. I'll be glad to answer it. But also check out the free information that I can, that I'm going to offer to you, and you can learn how what I'm doing, how to. Be a photographer, love what you do, photograph what you love, and earn a secondary income on autopilot. Okay? This is Chase Whipped. Hope you enjoyed this. Give me a like and give me a comment. 
We'll see you uh, soon, hopefully. Take care. Bye.